Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Mike's Positivity Technical World video review. Today we're going to be having a look at the Works WX822. Uh, it's the detail sander um, that's made by Works. It features a brush motor inside. It has a dust collection port at the back. Uh, you can also get adapters. I think you can make them off of uh, Makespace or wherever you want to uh, find them um, and 3D print them if you want. And um, yeah, it's it's basically it's a, it's a standard desk sander. Really, there's not a lot to it. Um, you get sanding pads. Uh, you can get these. You get three in the pack uh, with it. But you can buy different uh, ones of these off of Amazon. I'll see if I can find the link for you and put it in the description because it's very handy. Um, and it runs on the PowerShare 20 volt batteries. Um, the only downside I've really got on uh, this is if you've got the ones which are the uh these are the wa3551 batteries uh and they can feature the power indicator uh, if you get a normal battery like one of these which is the wa3501 uh, they don't have a power indicator battery which is fine okay but that's the power indicator uh, when you put it on uh, um I can't see or operate the power indicator. That's slightly annoying, but fear not. With the new PowerShare Pro batteries, they intentionally put the uh, the indicator at the other end, so that alleviates that minor detail and that minor gripe. I thought I might get that out of the way nice and early in the video. Um, basically, it's got a Velcro pad on the bottom of it, and you take your Velcro uh, other sided, the, the fluffy side if you like, this is the hook side, this is the loop side and you just place it on, uh, just make sure the dust holes, so the dust extraction holes line up there and uh, yeah, you're way, ready, way to go, switch it on it's not too bad as far as noise goes, I think it's somewhere around about 92 decibels if I remember correctly um, and it's really cool and as a little kicker on the front you get this thing called the D-tail, it's also known as a beaver tail that's because it looks like the tail of a beaver. So therefore they call it the beaver tail. <laughs> Speaks for itself, I suppose. Uh, you just get your PH2 screwdriver, attach it, and then take one of your sanding pads, place it on there or on the end, whichever way you want to uh, sand from. And then you can sand away in detail. Um, it's really a very basic, a very short video, unfortunately, on this one. Um, let me just get this out of the way. We'll just have a quick play and see how it performs on this rather unique piece of wood. This is um, mature balsa. Um, so it's got all the properties of balsa wood, but it's uh, mature and hard. Very interesting wood. <laughs> Beautiful finish straight off the bat with the uh, beaver tail. You can then obviously, it comes with three different grits. So this is like a 60 grit. It says P60 on it. And I think the highest the one they go up to, including the pack, is a P240. Um, and then that's like a finishing, a 240, for, especially for hardwoods. Smooth finishing. Obviously this is balsa, so it's mature balsa, so it's technically a hardwood. It gives it from a machined uh, sawmill finish to a beautiful sheen. A bit more work on it and it comes up like new. I'll say like new, like a very, very fine, fresh finish. Fresh finish, you try saying that. Let's just take the, uh, the beaver tail off again. And then we'll have a quick look, see how it performs. This is the P40, so this is a smaller one. This is actually one of my uh, Amazon special pads. This isn't one of the ones that's included, but you'll get the general gist. Um, it's also worth noting as well, these bottom pads are actually replaceable. You can get spares of these, so if you get them gummed up or the Velcro wears off, 
you can buy replacements, it's always good to know. The course pad. <laughs> I say obviously they go through the grades and uh, just as a uh, an option this thing this is a 800 grit um, unless you're a body panel worker you're probably never going to use an 800 grit but I will just show its effects just in case you ever do <laughs> smooth finish um that's basically it guys i mean seriously it's a sander um even i struggle to make more than six minute mark with a sander the dust collector it works look at that you can do whatever you will with that personally i'll compress it into a brick and then burn it on a log burner but whatever you want to do with it it's entirely your choice. Um, so yeah, there you have it. That's the Works WX822. Um, I will say it's a very, very nice, it's compact. Um, it's really, really annoying about the, when it's got the dust bag on it, that they have retro, um, like resolve that, I suppose, with making the new batteries with the um, power indicator there. Overall, it's a really nice piece of kit. Uh, you can get these body only. I think they're about $89.99 body only. And with battery and charger, fast charger, or one hour charger, they're $129.99. It runs for approximately 25 minutes on one two amp battery. And you can extend that to nearly an hour uh, on a four amp battery. And an hour and a half after uh, that on a six amp battery. Um, I will say the vibrations on this aren't exactly um, high. They are bearable. Uh, but you wear a pair of gloves with obviously a bit of uh, vibration dampening in them, it virtually uh, eliminates that. But obviously it's never going to be the likes of the um, the green and grey uh, Festals or anything like that. But then again, not be funny if you get the price point it's at, it's absolutely fantastic. I will just say, make sure that you use either your uh, WX747 just to blast a little bit of air in there. If you've got the Maker X WX747 or just using a, a compressed air hose they do eventually get filled up with small particles um, and that can clog up and stop the uh, the vents um, properly from functioning and make sure you just blow some air in the five holes on the bottom and also make sure if you do get pads they do have the five holes where they should be uh, you can see one two three four five um, those two are for the beaver tail wherever that's now gone stuck to the back there um, and obviously the rest of those are screw holes so just make sure you keep those nice and clean you can see there some of the finer bits of dirt and stuff which have got in there which managed to get past my uh my blowing out obviously i do need to get those sorted but if you take that pad off you can actually get a small scrubbing brush in there and get those off completely um yeah there you go guys nine minutes that's all i'm going to give you so uh yeah the wx822.9 um, as always guys, if you like, comment and subscribe, it really, really helps out the channel and um, just you know, try and progress it really. Uh, the more people out there who obviously know about these tools, the better really as far as I'm concerned because they really are decent tools. Um, and I shall see you in the next video. Take care of yourself guys and I shall see you soon.